Okay, so this next one for the hamstrings is a static hold and we're going to go for 30 seconds times 6. Okay, so what we're going to do is have our weight. So our foot position is going to go wide. We're then going to turn our feet in the way. We're going to push our hips back until you feel the stretch in the hamstrings and we're just going to hold the weight out in front. Okay, so we go wide with our feet, turn the feet in, we hip hinge and we're going to hold the weight out to the front of us here. I want you to try and squeeze that weight. Imagine it's like a, a right mango, where you're trying to press into the weight itself. So it's 3 by 30 seconds, and we start in 5, 3, 2, 1. Hip width apart, turn the toes in, push the hips back, hold the weight out here, but really squeeze that weight. Turn the toes right into the face each other, push straight these back, hinge from the hip. Feel the hamstrings work in there. Push the hips back. Sit back into the hips itself. Chest up nice and tall. Weight just in front of you there. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Second set. Coming up. Three, two, one. Chest up. Hip hinge forward and hold. So hip hinge. Push the hips back the way. Turn the feet in the way. Work the A and D doctors. Push the hamstrings back. 20 seconds. Press that way. If the weight gets too much for you, put the weight down. Hold here. Keep the back nice and flat, not bending the back itself. Push the hips back. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, just push the hips back. Three, two, one. Third set coming up. Five, three, turn the feet in, two, one, push, hips back and hold, hip hinge, the hip hinge is like your deadlift movement, push the bottom backwards, try and push that straight back, squeeze that weight, keep the back nice and flat, knees as straight as you feel comfortable, a little bit of softness if you need to as well. there. Number four coming up in five. Hip width apart. Turn the feet in the way. Toes point towards triangle and push out. Hold there. Hip hinge. Back nice and flat. Turn to arch. Keep yourself nice and long. Lean as far forward as you feel comfortable going. Hold here. Turn the feet in. Press the toes down. Push hips back. Keep the breathing nice and regular. Lower back's going to feel this working. Three, two, one, excellent. Number five coming up, ready, five seconds. Wide, we'll beyond hip width, turn the feet in. Three, two, one, push it back and hold. Hold this here, if you need to put the weight down, go to a position where you're just squeezing your hands together, okay? 10 seconds. Push back straight, hinging from the hips, pressing the big toes down. Three, two, one, and relax out there. Last one, last one, ready? Hips wide, feet turned in the way, knees almost straight, and out we go, hip hinge back there. Keep the elbows nice and bent, push, squeeze the hands into the weight. Push the hips back, really try and put length, time under tension on the hamstrings itself. Keep the back nice and straight, head up, looking forward. Press with big toes into the ground, engage. 15. Five. Three, two, one and then recover your bubble weights down guys. Pick up a bigger weight if you've got, if not, the same weight. We're going to put your mats 